Here's a very hard late model John Deere, four foot wide round baler. It's four by five. You can, of course, it's variable chamber, so you can make it a four by four, or four by five, whichever, di uh, however high you want to make it or diameter you want to make it. Really exceptionally clean baler on the outside. You can see the paint is excellent. The belts are all real good. It's got the gathering wheels and the pickup. It's a standard pickup, and with those ga gathering wheels, it gives you a little better. It's not like a wide pickup, but it's uh, it certainly helps. Inside the bale chamber here, right there on the left, above that roller there, a little more rust than I like to see. But when you look up here, you see there's, the paint's not even wore off some of the areas up there. I suspect somebody's left a bale sit in that longer than they should have, maybe, and it, and it just rusted right there above that roller. That's right where a piece of a bale would sit. Super clean on the outside. You can see the baler. It's a 458. There again is your gathering wheels. We've got that strap on there to hold those gathering wheels up. There's a bracket missing. I'll, we can make sure we show you that. Here's your twine arm. It's a hydraulically controlled twine arm. Moves across the bale, and then it comes to the home position here. These are real. This is a very base baler. It has a full bale alarm right here. Is the full bale alarm that can either mount on your tractor or just stay on the baler. Here's your drives on the left hand side, which is most where most of your drives are at. These are nice, simple balers. Again, it's a 4x4, 4x5 John Deere. We're going to have this on our lot.